Gosh, I just, uh, I wish I could talk to someone who's been in my shoes. A clear and blatant effort by NBC to evade the FTC's equal. Yes, this was not supposed to happen due to the fact that Kamala is struggling. These people decided to do this. They were not supposed to allow one presidential candidate to appear here just days before the elections. Unless they were to allow both candidates, they came out release a statement a few weeks back that because of the laws, they cannot allow any presidential candidate. Mm, we know that these people are in power. This happened. NFC Commissioner Brandon Carr has raised concern that Vice President Kamala Harris' appearance on Saturday Night Live over the weekend may have violated federal airtime regulations. Carr argued that Harris' participation could have breached the Federal Communication Commission's equal time rule, which mandated that public broadcast organizations provide compatible airtime to political candidates during an election period. But we didn't see that. Now they are calling to revoke the license of NBC. Be a very clear and blatant effort by NBC to evade the FTC's equal time rule. Uh, the FTC's equal time rule has been on the books for dozens and dozens of years. Um, NBC knows this because this exact issue, issue has come up time and time again with respect to this exact program, SNL. So for instance, when then candidate Trump in the 2016 election cycle went on SNL, uh, President Obama's Democrat, FCC chairman spoke up and said that the FCC would apply the rules and everybody should know that. And therefore, SNL was able to take remedial action. And my understanding was uh, ensure that uh, the, uh, the Clinton campaign had equal access. The issue here is this. NBC has structured this in a way that's plainly designed to evade the FCC's rules. We're talking 50 hours before Election Day starts without any notice to other candidates, as far as I can tell. And after previously coming out and saying they weren't going to do this, precisely because they did not believe that they could do this consistent with election laws and the FCC's equal time rule. So the FCC's own credibility and integrity is on the line here. And I think every member of the FCC needs to speak up immediately, given how close we are to an election, and make clear that we will follow through and enforce our laws. And I think every single remedy needs to be on the table in these circumstances. There's no question in my mind that lawyers at NBC were very well aware of the FCC's equal time rule. And it seems to me, based on how this was rolled out, that they made an intentional decision to evade those rules. And perhaps they felt like they could get away with it. You know, just not that long ago, the commission in a 3-2 partisan vote approved a Soros-backed group takeover of over 200 radio stations, an unprecedented decision. And perhaps they looked at that and thought that this current FCC leadership will let them get away with skirting the FCC's rules. But again, I think the FCC's own credibility and integrity is on the line. I think every single member of the FCC should be speaking up and make clear that we're going to investigate this. The rule requires that you provide all opposing candidates with a comparable time and program. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same program. It has to be comparable time and program. And in what circumstance can NBC provide all qualifying candidates with a comparable time and program, given that we're just hours away from Election Day? And a lot of the focus has been on the Trump campaign, but this isn't about the Trump campaign. It's about every qualified candidate for office. So it's entirely possible that the Stein campaign could have um, a right to equal time at this point. Also, later on in the program, uh, Senator Kane here in Virginia, where I am, appeared on the program, and he's up for election. On Tuesday as well, there's a uh, opposing campaign, uh, the Hung Kao campaign. They may also have a right now to comparable time in programming. So this is exactly why Lauren Michaels just weeks ago. Before we proceed watching this clip, just imagine that Trump appeared here alone. You could have seen how the mainstream media will pick this up and sing like a song. Are you seeing it anywhere? You will not see it. What I see is a new hoax that they just came out that Trump says he wanted to be in power. He never wanted to leave the White House. That is a new thing CNA is singing today. They will not talk about this. This is a serious issue. They will never report 
That is to tell you how this will operate. And it has caused a lot of people not to trust the mainstream media. So this is exactly why Lorne Michaels just weeks ago went public and said they would not be doing any candidate appearances because he understood the thicket that it would throw NBC into. Something changed at the last minute. Uh, and they've now gone down this path. And again, I think it's important that the FCC come together and we take action. Otherwise, our rules are absolutely meaningless. And at the end of the day, the penalties range all the way up to potentially in egregious situations, license revocations. And in my view, you know, every single remedy needs to be on the table, at least as an initial matter, while we investigate more and find out. Maybe they have some defense that I'm not aware of, uh, but all remedies should be on the table because yeah, we good. have to engage in some sort of response that if this proves to be an entire violation, um, there is a consequence sufficient enough that no broadcast station does this again, whether it's to benefit a Republican or a Democrat, that doesn't matter to me. We have rules on the book and we have to uphold them uh, when it benefits or when it pinches uh, different political parties. I don't see how there's any way at this point for NBC to cure the apparent violation. Yes, this is one of the reasons you see a lot of people are losing interest with these people. The mainstream media is no longer like it used to be. Look at some, they know the law, that what they're doing violate the laws. But who is in power I will obviously tell you nobody would do anything about it. And like I'm seeing here, at the end of the day, we might sing this like a song, it end up. They will not do anything because they are there. It is crazy. Why would they allow Kamala to appear here? Then Trump is nowhere to be found. Weeks back, the release statement made it clear that no presidential candidate will appear here. I was shocked to see this. Federal law does not require networks to provide Identical airtime, but mandate compatible time and placement for candidate earlier this month as an uh, executive producer, loan Michael, noted the limitation imposed by election law, emphasizing that the show cannot, the show cannot host active presidential candidate without adhering to the equal time rule. You can bring the actual people who are running on because of election laws and the equal time provision. Michael previously told the Hollywood Reporter, "You can't have the main, main candidate without having all the candidates. Uh, there are a lot of minor candidates that are only on the ballot in like three states, and that becomes really complicated." They know the law, but they can't follow that through. The laws are for some people. If this was strong, <laughs> you will see how the mainstream media will cover the topic. They will sing this like a song. If it's not implemented, they will not get tired. But because it is who they are working for, advocating that a person should be put in power, they will do this every time. It is insane. I hate this, actually. Breaking news. Donald Trump took his violent rhetoric to a new extreme, suggesting the former Republican congresswoman should be fired upon. Breaking news. Trump under investigation for saying, quote, war hawk Liz Cheney should be fired upon. Right now on ABC News Live, he suggested nine barrels of a firing squad aimed right at her. Donald Trump declaring before a crowd that Cheney should be put before a firing line. With the battle over women voters raging, Donald Trump suggests putting Liz Cheney in the firing line. Now you have this threat against Liz Cheney uh, that Trump is is talking about a firing squad. The Drudge Report, uh, Trump calls for Cheney execution. He's saying quite explicitly and unambiguously that Liz Cheney should be shot. Should be you can see them. <laughs> this was debunked. It has been fact-checked by even USA to a lot of articles you can check on Google, but they will not retract this. They will continue to spew this. They were using the same script. I feel great. I have not the slightest doubt she's going to win. Mm -hmm. The only concern we have is how the fascist will resign, mm -hmm. or they probably won't resign, and that's our concern. Uh, Trump had called for a firing squad for Liz Cheney. And this is what I really don't like about the media. No, he didn't. He did not. You don't, you don't have to move me to not like Donald Trump.
Thank you guys for always being there sharing out my videos. These short clips here are usually summarized so you can see the bias, how these people can be, and they debunk themselves. So President Trump speaking this truth is not a threat to anyone. It's the truth that voters need to know before this election is over. Donald Trump, and I think you know, some of it, frankly, was spun up to distract from a terrible jobs report. I don't even recognize what's happened to the Democratic Party anymore, to be honest. Directed at former Republican. No, that the presidential election is just days away. Personally, I need this to be over already. It's like my first wedding night. Okay. But she also got a bit of a hiccup from Joe Biden. I have called out Trump over it. Canada is very clearly pushing to win. He brought up more garbage. I don't know why these women are still on air. They ain't I love you, Our you're life. so wrong. <laughs> it is they want to be. So they now wear the two candidates to see who will favor them. Biden, this is the president of the United States. Morning, celebrate. Now, I never noticed before and make me go, whoa. You know, throw a birthday. If you are over 18, please register to vote. Dang, what? what he does at age it gave me a chance to tie just trashed american values and what our country but what donald trump said about